We're about to give you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth about this National Association of Realtors settlement that we are sure you've heard something about. That's coming up next on the Elite Realty Group Podcast. Here we go. Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Elite Realty Group Podcast, where we're bringing you the most up-to-date, relevant real estate information you're going to find anywhere on the planet. You're going to get it right here. And we've got a big show for you today where we're talking about the National Association of Realtors, the settlement, the lawsuit, and everything in between. We're about to break that down for you today. This is going to be good for real estate agents, the consumers, the clients, the customers, Whatever you want to say, we're going to unload, unpack, dive into a lot of information today for you. I am Mike Elkins with Elite Realty Group in Morristown, Tennessee. Now I've got my partner, Dave Elkins, and we are, to, we are going to unpack all of this information for you today. How are you, my friend? I'm good. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm I think ready this to... is going to be good, Mike. I think it I is really going to be do. good. I really do. I feel good about this podcast. Well, we are totally 100% in the real estate arena. Yeah. Okay. Like, you know, we're, we're headlong into it as mm -hmm. they say around these parts, there's a lot, but there's just a lot of information. There's a lot of things that's yeah. out there. Yeah. There's truth. And it's a very big, uh, it's, it's a really big converse topic of conversation. Right now. It is. We've heard it from what you would say the top down mm -hmm. in our country right. that have been weighing in on this, but you know, kind of what we have found in looking at it and going through it, diving into it, kind of seeing how it's going to affect us as realtors, thus in turn, potentially affect our customers and our clients. Um, we found out there's a lot of misinformation out there. Yeah, a lot of a lot of wrong information. Yeah, we found out the truth is out there. Yep. But what you kind of got to do at this point in time right now is sort through mm -hmm. all of the information because there is a ton of information. Oh, yeah, a bunch of it floating There's around. all kinds of opinions on everything, yep. There's as there always is. Yep. But we're going to kind of look into that. Some of the things maybe people are hearing, but we're also going to slice through all of the nonsense right. and get to the truth and yeah. really boil this thing down to what does all of this mean? Right. Now, I think it's important mm -hmm. for us today to say we're not attorneys. You know, yeah, we're, okay, we're, well, yeah. we're not attorneys. We, we play one sometimes on a weekend. <laughs> but, right. you know, this is simply our opinions we're going to give. But at the same point in time, it's simply just us reading. Right. Yeah. I'm going to say it, it's really says. just reading information yeah, and seeing the saying settlement. what is facts from those inf from Correct. That information. The settlement itself is 108, <coughs> 110, 112 pages, depending on who you want to listen to. Yeah. And there's a lot of verbiage uh -huh. that's in there. So you got to kind of, you have to kind of cipher through that and see exactly what it says. Right. But just in case people's not been paying attention, let's back up a little bit and set the stage for kind of where we are today and what we're going to be talking about. So last year, 2023, mm -hmm. there was a class action lawsuit that was actually filed in the state of Missouri. Yeah. Okay. This, this is where it all started at and to cut it short, you know, to, to keep from going into this big, long explanation, it was, you know, an accusation Mm -hmm. from a bunch of different people right. brought by attorneys, of course, yep. that, you know, claim that the National Association of Realtors and, and its members were price fixing and right. price gouging or whatever you want to call it. But it all had to revolve around how that commissions were paid. Right. It's kind of when it came up on our radar. Yeah. We saw it, we heard about it, all those kind of things. So the story goes on, that goes on for a while. And to be quite honest with you, it was one of those things that, when it first did pop up on radar, it was one of those like, this is a class action lawsuit. This is going to go on for years. Right. Who knows anything about it? Again, yeah. it was just in the, state, in the state of Missouri, which we're in Tennessee. Right. So you was kind of watching it, but yet, you know, you wasn't just like it is. Yeah, now. yeah. It didn't, it didn't grab your attention. Like you, no. you noticed it, but you weren't like, okay, right. this, is, this is something. Yeah, that's because going. of one, it was the accusations. Right. That's You're all like, it was, yeah. That ain't right. Yeah. You know. But anyway, uh, I digress. But it's one of those things that you saw it. Well, it goes on. It goes on a little bit. Well, they, they do the trial, do the hearing, whatever you want to call it. And so the the 
people that accuse the National Association of those others, they won. Right. Now, I'm gonna put this in simple man terms. Okay? Right. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're speaking the same. Yeah, this year. is just simple man term. We can we can dive in this every which way, but they won. Okay. Right. So with that <laughs> verdict coming down, you then saw, which is leading to what is affecting everybody today, a bunch of copycats. The copycatters. Lawsuits began yeah. happening. And then it literally went from Missouri to okay, we've just bomb blew up. We went everywhere. I yeah. hope I can say a bomb blew up, but we went everywhere. Okay. <laughs> But so now that led to all of this other stuff. Well, March the 15th, Friday, March the 15th, we come to work that day. Everything, you know, plan on going as normal. You get Friday, it. Friday, too. It, it was on a Friday. Friday. They get you yeah. on a Friday. Got on us on a Friday. You open your email. Every National Association of Realtor member has this email that says, hey, we have settled this lawsuit. Yeah. And with this settlement, we're agreeing upon some of these changes. We are not admitting guilt, right? but we are just agreeing to settle for a dollar amount, which happens to be $418 million. And we are agreeing to settle for that dollar amount and to make some rule changes. Yeah. The rule changes, not the $418 million, Mm -hmm. but it was the rule changes that sent this industry, and to be quite honest with you, this country. Into a frenzy. Into a frenzy. Yeah. Because nobody read what exactly all this was. It was a lot of hearsay. A lot of hearsay. A lot of hearsay. A lot of hearsay that there was no factual data at that point. No. You begin hearing at that time that the real estate industry will go away. Uh-huh. Realtors will be replaced. Yep. You heard buyer's agents will no longer Gone. exist. Representation for somebody buying a house would no longer exist. Yeah. Um, you heard need to be finding plan B. I mean, it was just everywhere. It, yeah, I mean, it, it did go crazy for several days. A lot of people got a PhD during that time yep. because of so much information that came out of literally false information. Right. Just, just, again, hearsay and people flipping out. Yeah. Now, again, I understand flipping out. You know, it's your industry. You start hearing this stuff. But a lot of people were flipping out again over just nonsense. Nonsense. Yeah, it nonsense. was nonsense. It was nonsense. Yeah. It was going. I feel like one of the biggest things, though, that, that was heard and told literally, again, came from the top down in our country that, you know, real estate, and real estate commissions, people buying houses are about to save tens of thousands of dollars. I heard that. Because no one, the real estate industry and realtors in general, were no longer allowed to charge 6% in commissions. Right. So those kind of things, when you started hearing that stuff happening and all that came down and all that happening, that's what literally (coughs) sent us into a tailspin. Okay. Yes. So I'm sure there are a lot of people listening to this today, be watching this today, that they've heard those same things. Yeah. What we're going to do, what our goal is today, is to cut through all that noise. Yeah. And literally boil this thing down to the facts Mm -hmm. and talk about not only the facts and what that means as we know it now, Mm -hmm. I think it's also important for us to say right now that this hasn't been finalized it's still not officially been ruled it's on, not been which will be in july am i right on that yeah july? well probably before that they're right. saying that the changes will take place by mid-july yeah. that was one of the things they agreed to but we're still waiting on a judge we're to still waiting on a judge to put the approval. final approval upon it yeah. so could other things change absolutely sure. we're talking to you today on april the 5th yeah this is what we know this is the, again getting to cutting through all of the 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 jarnigan, mm-hmm. the the wording hearsay. I called it word salad uh-huh. that we've all heard, and get to the facts, which there's two main ones that we're going to dive into mm-hmm. today, and literally tell you how it stands, what it means for us now, but what does it look like going forward? Right. Okay? I'm trying to calm the nerves. Yeah, let's just have a whole lot of people. Everybody, today. just chill out for yeah. a minute. We got some information. And again, here. I'm sure we'll take. We'll take dings on this. Oh, absolutely. Not everybody's yeah. going to agree. 
And that's okay. That's totally that's fair. That's okay. You do you, man. We'll do us. There's still what ifs that are out there. Yeah. There's still changes that I think we will see come. Yep. But we're going to talk to you about what we know today. Yeah. So in that March the 15th ruling or, or agreed upon that we would change these rules and they would pay the $418 million, there were two big things that stuck out in that ruling that really it all boils down to these two things. Mm-hmm. Okay, The first thing that the National Association of Realtors agreed to change was that cooperative compensation. Okay. Now let's stop right there. Yeah, go say, let's just break it down for a minute. Explain to the listener, to the person watching, what is cooperative compensation? So that's basically just that the listing agent Mm -hmm. will split commission in cases. Yeah. Yeah. With another agent. Right. A buyer's agent. Right. So at this time, Mm -hmm. as we are sitting here, you go to list a home as a realtor. Okay. You talk about, okay, what what are you going to pay me to list and sell your home? Right. The home's listed. There is a commission that's agreed upon. That's a total, a total amount. Yeah. Okay. Those amounts are all over the board. Oh, just yeah. To be honest. Absolutely, yeah. Let me say this. It is 100% negotiable. Always has okay? been. Always has been. Okay. Yeah. That was another of the things that was implied was... Commissions were fixed. Right. That's false. That is false information. That is false. Yeah. Commissions have never been fixed. It's in our code of ethics. It's in everything. We don't, we don't even, we can't even talk about it in groups of people. Right. Okay. Right. We're in the same brokerage. We can talk about those things. Right. We can't talk about that in our marketplace because that could be an accusation of price fixing. Right. Not done. Right. Okay. So there's a total commission. With that total commission, there usually is what you said where the cooperative comes in. If another agent would potentially bring a buyer to buy this house, we will first cooperate with them to do that. Right. They represent the buyer. We will represent the seller who we're talking about. And that commission, most of the time, was split 50-50. Yeah. So since 6% is the big topic, let's go even deeper and give the example. We list for a total of 6%. I'm going to keep 3% for selling and marketing your property. I'm going to give 3% to a buyer's agent. Right. Okay. Yeah. The ruling was that the cooperative compensation amount that was being offered by a seller to a potential buyer's agent, Mm -hmm. here's the ruling, would now no longer be listed on the MLS. What's the MLS? The multiple listing service right. in which all listings from realtors are placed into. Right. That was the rule change that was agreed upon. We will now no longer put the cooperative compensation amount in the MLS. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Okay. Now, I think there's a really good topic to bring up here. Go with it. Nowhere in there did I hear you say that there will no longer be Correct. A cooperative compensation. Correct. Correct. It will not be listed in the MLS. In on the, M- the MLS. Yeah. What do you ever yeah. want to so call it? That's that's that was rule number one change. Okay. So okay. We'll make sure I heard that right. But let's talk about that. That's a point of to- of comp topic that you you need to listen to the whole story, everybody. Right. That is the rule. That's mm-hmm. what they agreed upon. There's never Okay, at this point in time, said you had to do 6%. No. We use that as an example right then. There's never been, you got to give three and three. Never has. All of that stuff has always been negotiable. Right. Okay? It's always been negotiable. Right. Yeah, because there's people right now who's listening to the podcast who they've, they've been that. They, they, sure. Some people don't split even. No. And that's totally, that's, no. that's. But again, that goes back to everything sure. is negotiable. That's right. Always has been. Sure. So so there's no change there. Okay? No, not a change that I've It's seen. a change that that percentage flat fee amount will not be posted on the multiple listing service for another real estate agent to see. Right. Okay. That's the change. Right. We still feel, I think most people still feel, and I think buyers that are out there today buying houses, they want representation. Uh, yeah. Okay. They want somebody that's helping them and leading them and kind of 
in their corner, my my words, right. in their corner, making sure everything is going the way it needs to go for them. It's their representation. Right. The second thing, I said that to lead to the second thing, the second thing that they agreed upon in these rule changes was, was that now any realtor prior to any kind of services, showing houses, doing anything, as a in a real estate capacity, a realtor would do, we will now have in place prior to those services a representation agreement, which in Tennessee we call that a buyer's representation agreement, mm-hmm. that spells out what our duties will be, right. what we will do, what the client will do, but also on that sheet, which in Tennessee is this way. Right now, right, yeah, we can't speak for everywhere else, but in Tennessee, but in Tennessee, this it's way this now. way right now. Would be any amount of compensation mm-hmm. that the buyer is agreeing to pay the buyer's agent. It's on there right now. It's on there right now. But we were we are agreeing in the rule change. We will have that prior to any services right. that are done. That way, everybody knows right. it's all out in the clear. Everybody knows these things. This is how I get paid as a buyer's agent. Right. This is where you're agreeing to pay me or see that I get a certain amount. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Yeah. It's those two rule changes. Yep. Now it was from those two items. Yeah. That the chaos ensued. That people have lost their minds. That it went crazy on that. Yeah. Okay. When I taught this the other day and had conversation with our own agents about it, here's how I classified and summed all of this up. I come every day to work the same route. Yeah. I get in my car because to me, that's the best route to go. Yeah. Ever since I've lived in my home in the location that I live now and come to the office where we are right now, to me, that's been the best route. Right. I know that route. Mm -hmm. I know where the stoplights are. I know where I got to watch for school zones. I know where the potholes are. Right. I know where someone could be running out. I know where a cow could be in the road. That's true. Yeah. I know it great. Okay. I'm comfortable with it. Yeah. I take it every day. However, there are other routes mm-hmm. for me to get to the same place. Going to the same destination. I'm going to the same destination, but there's different routes. Right. Okay. The other route I'm not real familiar with. Yeah. Okay. But it gets me to the same place. Mm-hmm. Could but take if a I drive longer. that route enough, I will be familiar with it. It will be the new route. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I submit to all of you today to sum it all up. We're going to the same destination. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a different route to get there. That easy. Okay. We're just going to take a different route. It's not going to be normal at first because it's a new route. Right. But once we drive that route, it's going to become the new route. Right. Okay. So we're going to the same place. We're just going to take another route to get there. Same place. Different route. Yes. Okay. So what does all of that mean? Okay. It simply means no more compensation is going to be offered to a realtor in the MLS. As you said, it does not mean that compensation will not be available and a seller will not want to look at this. Right. And say, look, we need to compensate a buyer's agent. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think that's pretty standard because uh, again, I think it's smart. I think it's smart. Yeah. What well, maybe not standard might not be a good word, but I think it's smart that sellers do offer sure. a buyer's agent compensation. Right. So because we, we you talked about this the other day when we was in the meeting. You know, a lot of times for sale by owners. Yeah. Okay. That does not have an agent. That does not have an agent. Sure. It's very common for them to offer what? Buyer's agent compensation. A buyer's agent compensation. Sure. So they're selling it by themselves. They don't want nobody to list it. Right. But they know they need the help of a realtor. Yeah. Because realtors have buyers. Sure. So they offer a buyer's agent. I've said this a long time, man. And again, I just try to be simple. Okay. I try to be simple with this. But as for sale by owners, but we can now say as anybody selling their house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why would you not want to have a conversation with a real estate agent, a realtor? Because Across our country right now, like across our country, inventory is down everywhere. Mm-hmm. Every realtor in the world is needing inventory to sell because there's more people wanting to buy than we've got homes to sell. Okay. Right. 
It only makes sense if you're a seller out there anywhere, whether you've got a representation of a selling agent or not, right? For sale by owner, by yourself, or a listing agent in play, why would you not want to have conversations with buyer's agents? Mm -hmm. Because you've got what they want in a house. They've got what you want in buyers. Right. It just makes common sense. Kind of makes sense to me. Yeah, we, we say that all the Let's time. have a conversation. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Let's have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Work the compensation out. It's negotiable. It's always negotiable. It's negotiable. Yeah. Work all of that out in the conversation. Right. Same destination. Yeah. Different route to get there. Yeah, I mean, okay. we, we say that here all the time. I mean, it to me, if 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 I'm going to talk to my seller, mm -hmm. we had this conversation this morning. There's 500 and some odd agents in our local board. Mm -hmm. I mean, they know those 500 people, other agents. They have people right now who are looking for a house. Absolutely. So, I mean, why would I not want them to come help me? Right. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, the goal is to sell the house. That's the goal, right? Yeah. For the For the listing agent? Yeah. For the seller? Sure. That's the goal. All of the compensation is transparent. It's all put out. Yeah. You, everybody knows. I can't see what it is on the MLS no more, so I'm going to have to make a phone call. I'm going to have to call. Now, you're having realtors losing their minds that listing agents won't answer the phone, blah, 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 blah. Look. You got to get to the destination. Yeah. We can lay back here. I said this the other day in our own office. <laughs> we can about say it. and cry about it all day long. Yeah. Okay. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay. Use your voice and call. Yeah. Okay. Text them. Right. Email them. Do whatever you got to do to get a hold of these people to say, hey, are you offering it? Now, look, it's just a real fact of the matter. Some people will. Some people won't. <coughs> right. That's each their own. Can I tell you right now that's happening right now? Right now. Yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. Before this ruling ever come out. That some has, did, some that did. That has happened. Some did, like you said a minute ago, 50-50. Some did a dollar. Okay? Right. It's not, it's same destination, different path. Yeah. Okay? So you look at all that stuff and you say, that's one of the things that you navigate yourself through. I go back to, because I think there's more to say about this, and buyers and agents and all those kind of things. Um, the period of time that we just came through, you know, mm -hmm. in real estate post, you know, when COVID started and all that, that the frenzy of home buying that took place. Yeah. Could you imagine sellers navigating that mess? Yeah. Of 40 people wanting to buy their house. Right. And there being no buyer's agents. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. But that's the seller side. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine that? I know. The second thing is, could you have imagined a buyer trying to navigate that? Right. Without a buyer's agent. Yeah. So you look at all those things. Again, I think if you just take a deep <laughs> breath and step back for a moment, mm -hmm. the services of a realtor, whether it be on the listing side or the buying side, mm -hmm are still a much needed item in the marketplace today. Yeah. I mean, I, I think they're not going away. No. Okay. No. How they're paid, how you get to the same destination is change. Right. Will change, but we're going to the same place. Yeah. Calm down. Right. Right. Calm I down. mean, yeah, to me, could it change their pay? Sure. Could. Sure. Could, may. But it but already could. That It already could. Sure. So, I mean, the reason why that for the last up 10 years, mm -hmm. the reason why a seller has offered to pay a buyer's agent is mm -hmm. because they need their help. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, think of all, think of all the multiple offer situations. That's what I'm saying. You got 40 offers on this house. Right. So, I mean, does that go away when you don't have... A buyer's agent no more? I mean, you you have to have those conversations. You have to think about that. You know it, what I mean? It's so one of those, is it smart to not say, is it smart to say I'm not going to pay nobody? Right. You have right. to think about the that. The seller has to weigh that out. Yeah, I mean, that's a decision. That, that's always been have to weigh out. But it's always it's been always there. Has that's been not weighed changed. Out. And sellers have took the approach that we think it's a good thing. Yeah. I don't think sellers are going to change their mind. Now, again, I, I, I think we, maybe we should say this because 
we're speaking about the state of Tennessee. I, sure. I don't know in no. New Jersey I don't either. how their contracts are written. Sure. I don't know that, but I know on the state of Tennessee, it says on there, this is what the total commission is going to be, mm-hmm. and this is what we're going to offer as cooperative co-op. compensation. Right. Right. That so may the change. the seller sees that, 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 that could change. That could change. But the seller knows that going into every ever before they list their house. Right. They know that. Yes. You've had these things out there because of this ruling that again commissions are going to drop, or and which is going to lead to, which I think is one of the biggest false narratives that are out there. Home prices are going to drop. Right. Okay. Can we call time out just for a yeah, minute? Yeah. And say commissions, closing costs. Mm-hmm. You can it, let me let me say it right. Seller concessions. Right. They've already been built into pricing already. Already, it ain't there's this new thing just popped up out of nowhere. Like, oh, now we gotta add a fee. Now we gotta do this. Yep. No, it's always been taken into consideration. People are smart. Look, yeah. people are smart, man. <laughs> right. You know give what I'm a, saying? We give build people that a in. little credit. A good real estate agent talking to their client is going to say, "Look, this is this is possibilities that exist. Mm-hmm. You might have to offer some seller concessions. Yeah. The commissions here, we got to take all that in consideration to get you to the bottom line that you need to sell your house. Right." That conversation is still going to be the same. Absolutely. It's going to be the same conversation. Absolutely. Okay. Not That's not going to change. Mm-mm. We have said for a lot of times, now we're talking a lot about this on the real estate side. Let's talk about this from a, from a, from the customer, from the, from the seller, mm-hmm. from the buyer. Okay. Of this, with just this, no more compensation on the, on the MLS. That's the rule. Number one, we're talking about, right? You have to ask yourself as a seller, and I believe in consultation with a good realtor. Mm-hmm. What's the smart thing for you to do? Right. We've said many times, we've done shows, man, live shows on Facebook since 2017. Yeah. Long time. Okay. We've said from the beginning of us going live and having any kind of voice anywhere on any platform, interview, 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 an agent. talk to more than one agent. Yeah. Okay. As a seller, that's the that idea still holds true. Right. Now we're going to flip over here to a buyer now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Buyers are the exact same way. Yep. Okay. Interview different agents. Mm-hmm. See what their services are. See what their charges are. Right. See what all that is. But again, just have conversations. But all of that stuff <coughs> should have already been going on in the marketplace. Yeah, I'm going to say, again, that's still not a change because, like you said, we've been doing a real estate show since 2017. We've been saying that since then. Yes. That didn't just start No, March the 15th. No. You should have been doing this up to this point. Sure. So, again, uh, back to the the buyer's rep. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, you should be doing a buyer's rep all along, right? right? I mean, again... State of Tennessee, that form is spelled out. This yeah, is it's, our, it's this all is, wrote on there. This is our services. This is what we're offering. This is what you're mm-hmm. offering compensation. Yeah, it spells out how they're going to get how it, it's going to be gonna paid. Be done. Yeah. So, I mean, have we done those? Right. Absolutely. You sure. know what I mean? Like, right. because sometimes there's been times right now we've done those. It's spelled out on there. Absolutely. You know, this is what our fee is. Right. If we sell you a for sale by owner who's not willing to pay our, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's on there. Sure. It's already been that way. It's, it's same destination. Right. Different path to get there. Yeah. A little bit of different things. The thing that the that that us as realtors need to know is go do what we've said to do a long time. Go be the professional that we are. Yes. Okay. Quit downgrading yourself to some door opener, right. order taker. Go be a pro. Yeah. Go be a professional. Right. We're professionals, yeah. okay? I'm not saying that as me, but I'm saying in the industry, mm-hmm. realtors are professionals. Go be professionals. That, yes. That's the bottom line. Yes. Adapt, adjust, go serve the public with a servant's heart. Mm-hmm. Go do people right, yep. and right will reward you. Yep. Right will always be right. Wrong will always be wrong. Absolutely. Go be a pro. Yeah. On the other side of this, for the consumer, okay, have the conversations with the pros. What's best for your individual situation? Right. If you're selling your house, what's best for you in your marketplace? Right. What's best for you as a seller to get the highest amount of money in the least amount of time with no hassle to you, or at least the least amount of hassle you can get? 
have that conversation. Look at their marketing plans. Mm -hmm. Look at market data. Right. How many how many homes are being sold with and without buyers agents? Right. That's going to tell you a story whether you need to offer it or not. I remember just a couple of weeks ago when we was talking about for sale by owners. I think maybe mm -hmm. on this podcast, we said that ninety two percent. Yes. Ninety two percent of home sales in the country. Mm -hmm was sold with the assistance of a realtor. Because I've Correct. got a I've got a postcard yeah. here somewhere that says, Are you okay being in that eight percent? Right. So you know what I mean? As a for right. sale by owner, now let's sure. flip it over as a just a if you let some agent come list it, are you okay? I'm with you. Being in that eight percent who says I'm not going to pay a buyer's agent. I'm with you. I'm with you. It's quite that's conversation. Sure. That's going to start happening across the world. Should have already been Should happening. Should have already been, but go be a pro. Yeah. If you're a realtor, go be a pro. If you're a consumer, interview, ask conversation, have conversation. The, the last thing I think we need to touch on is, is this buyer's agreement, mm -hmm. buyer's representation agreement that we call it, that is now prior to anything, prior which to any will services. spell out compensation. You as a buyer... As, as from the buyer's point of view, interview agents, mm -hmm. see the services, see the charges. That's the given. Right. Okay. But the good thing as a buyer's agent now going into an offer, mm -hmm. okay, into an offer, you're going to know, am I going to be responsible for this amount or is it, are they offering an amount? Right. Is there going to be an offset amount? Mm-hmm. That to me is transparency of more now. It is, yeah. Okay, now we know for sure. Right. Here's how all this is. Okay? Right. Here's how all this is. It's all spelled out. It's all known. It's all negotiable. It's all negotiated. Right. Okay. Everybody still knows. Yes. As a buyer, <laughs> do your interviews. We've said that forever. Right. Okay. Now, to, to end the whole thing, I think we need to touch on this. Okay. There are three ways that the National Association of Realtors have told us at this point that that buyer's agent commission can be paid. Right. The first way is from the buyer, yep. whatever's on the sheet. Right. Okay. The second way <coughs> is from the seller. The seller can pay it. Okay. Sounds, sounds familiar. The third way is both of them can pay it. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Which is what happens now. Yeah, I mean, as okay. everything you said is happening right now. Right. right, that's what they've told us. Yeah. Okay, which is how it is now. It's just not on the MLS it's no not more. not on the MLS no more. And to a buyer, you know what it is up front. Yeah. Okay, you want to know how it's taken care of prior to any kind of offers, anything being mm -hmm. done. So we need to chill our beans a little bit. I think so. You know what I mean? We yeah. need to chill our beans a little bit. Last part, and we're done. You have people that are out there right now as realtors more and even as consumers, as buyers, that they get a lot of different types of loans that a seller can only offer so much in seller concessions. Right. Okay. And you got people that need help with their, their expenses, their buyer expenses, and some people call them closing costs. And so there's only so much money there that can be given on different types of loans. Right. But there's one specific loan which is the VA loan. Yes. Okay. That there are just literally, and I'm going to make this broad so we don't get in a, you know, in a, in a pee and match here that there are literally just buyer expenses that cannot, cannot. Be yeah. There, you can't do them. Right. Okay. People are worried about that. Mm -hmm. Should a VA buyer need concessions from a seller for certain things, such as the buyer's agent commission. Right. We don't know how that's going to play out as we sit here right now. Right. But I would like to think, okay, that somebody a lot more powerful than us will not make the people who have stood for our country mm -hmm. in the hardest times ever yes. to not be able to be represented Right. by an agent should they feel that they want to be right surely to goodness yeah they're not going to do our veterans you life. wouldn't think so i'm gonna i'm gonna think positive on that yeah. one 
And I really think that something will happen Yeah, in that sphere. But again, let's say this because I don't want no, there to be no confusion there. Go ahead. But that's only if the seller is offering concessions. Sure. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. The listing agent can still offer a compensation. Sure. To we, 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 again, same destination. Right. Different path for us to get there. Right. Different route for us to get there. So you have a lot of people out there that's worried about <coughs> that. Again, I, I'm going to think positive on that. Yeah, I mean, you, you hope they do what's surely right to there. goodness, yeah. they're, they're going to make the brave men and women of our armed forces. Yeah. They're going to do them right. You, you, you'd hope so. I'm going with that. Yeah. I'm going with that. Yeah. So, again, 35 minutes worth really? of us talking about this. But two things, y'all. Okay? And honestly, it's just the same route to get to the same Yeah, I mean, I think if you really let that sit sink place. into your mind, you know what I mean? You're still going to the same place. Let's woe back for a minute. It's not going to be on the MLS. Right. But... Can a buyer's agent still get paid? Absolutely. Will sellers still offer it? Absolutely. Yes. Can they? Is it negotiable? Absolutely. Always but it has always been. has been. Yeah. So again, those are what we know as some of the facts cutting yeah. through, slicing through all the noise, right. talking about how maybe you'll see some things work. I fully anticipate in the state of Tennessee, there's some adjustments on our contracts, sure, on those agreements yeah. to do those things. I think there'll be some things that happen even from the national level. Yep. Both maybe potentially with lending, but definitely with the National Association of Realtors. Yep. Again, it's newer. You know, we're two weeks, two and a half weeks now from that all being let loose. But as people are calming down, mm -hmm. cooling down, cooler heads are prevailing. Yeah. And you're being able to slice through and dice through all this stuff and really get to the 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 nuts and bolts of it to say okay same destination different path for us to get there. yeah i mean people always want to go to panic mode first sure you know what i mean but let's again like you said let's as realtors yes. let's be the professionals yes let's adapt and, and move forward adapt and adjust man. yeah adapt and adjust do right because right will always be right yeah so again that's what we know that's some factual information that we know about the National Association of Realtors settlement again that's recently came into all of us and we've had to slice through and get through all of that. Hopefully this information has been something that's been good for you. Stay tuned to the podcast, to the channel, wherever you're getting this information as there will be more changes, I'm sure, and developments and you can guarantee you we will keep you a part of that. Last thing before we go, whatever platform, whatever channel you're watching or listening to us on, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. That way you're notified every time that we put out a new podcast right here from the Elite Realty Group podcast. Until we see you next time, you guys be safe, be blessed, be cool, y'all. Stay calm. Everything's going to be all right. We will see you next time. Over and out.